Hi guys, this is the Cestron and this is my character Herwin in Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'm doing this video at the request of um, Danny Riley who asked me to show me my character stats. So, here they are. As you can see at the moment I am level 106 and uh, 106 um, I have 60 intelligence primarily and also 47 attunement. Those are the two kind of primary stats that you're looking at as a sorcerer in Dark Souls 3. Um, I also have my vigor there to 20 and endurance to 20 as well. Um, I would say um, 20 Vigor can be uh, a little tricky and I know some people might look at that and think oh that's too low. It's not too low, um, 993 HP is more than enough to survive most um, boss battles. Um, I've not had any problems and I'm only one maybe two bosses away from the end of the game. So um, yeah I don't think that that's a problem, you'll be fine with uh, 20 Vigor. But if you're struggling then certainly you could put 5 to 10 points more in that and um, that would be perfectly reasonable. Um, I think endurance as well, that might be considered a bit low, but um, with a stammer of 112, I find that I can survive, again, pretty much um, anything really and not have any problems. The only thing that I notice um, um, where the stamina is a little bit lacking is when I'm doing co-op and um, you will then be kind of chaining spells and find that sometimes you have to wait for the stamina to regen before you can start again. But you will only find that that happens um, in co-op, obviously, when the attention is not on you and you're able to spam spells very often soloing or um, play, just playing through the game on your own. You're not really going to be able to chain spells that often. You will always be looking for the dodge roll and um, that brief pause before you can start fighting again will give you that chance for the stamina to regen so I found that um, 20 endurance is more than enough although again another 5 to 10 levels in that would be perfectly reasonable and perfectly viable. Um, attunement there is at 47 I'm going to go to 50 with that and that will give me seven attunement slots. Um, I'm really doing that mostly for the FP, so as you can see there it's at 318 at the moment. Um, and I would certainly recommend uh, having a higher FP pool because a lot of the high level spells, the crystal spells particularly, use a heck of a lot of FP and you will notice that your FP bar will empty out pretty quickly. Um, so that's definitely a must to have a higher FP pool. Um, Vitality, you don't need to touch that at all. Strength, I've got that up to 10. It starts at 7, I think, with a Sorcerer, so 3 points in that. And that's only for the Grass Crest Shield, which you can see here. The Grass Crest Shield will give you 89 uh, physical block, but also it's a Stamina Regen Shield, so your Stamina will rege regen quicker while you have this shield equipped. Um, if you want the physical block to be 100%, if you're struggling with that, then you can certainly put one more extra point into Strength, and then you will get 100% physical block with the Silver Eagle Kite Shield, so that's an option as well. And you get the Silver Eagle Kite Shield um, in one of the first areas in the game, so um, you can certainly do that if you're finding that a struggle. Um, so back to the stats. Uh, dexterity, I haven't touched that either, that's at 12. Um, 12 is all you really need for it to be um, good enough to use the S-Stock. And I would certainly recommend the S-Stock for every sorcerer as it's um, a very quick weapon, it has long range and um, yeah, it's, it's easily um, uh, achievable at the very beginning of the game as well. You can get that very quickly um, from the character Grey Rat. He will sell that um, after you send him out once and he returns. He will then sell the S-Stock. So, um, yeah, that's certainly um, a weapon I would recommend using. Um, you can slap a crystal uh, gem on that and then it will be a crystal S-Stock and then it will scale A rating with your intelligence. Um, obviously, as a sorcerer, you will have high intelligence, so the more intelligence, the more damage the S-Stock will do do. Um, I personally just leave it as the normal West stock and then buff it. So um, I find that I'd prefer to use the crystal magic weapon as this will make it actually more powerful and it looks cool as well. <laughs> It certainly does look cool, but that actually is more powerful than Crystal S stock. But of course, you will have to repeatedly buff, and you do need to have another staff in your offhand, unless you don't mind uh, switching the position of your staff every time you buff it, which becomes really irritating. It's a bit of a design flaw in the game, I think, really, that you need to have two staves equipped, one to buff and one to do damage, but there you are. As I say, if you find that's a pain in the ass, then certainly put Crystal um, Gem on there, and that'll be um, pretty powerful anyway. 
Um, so, yep, intelligence there, 60. Um, in this game, you really do need to go to the full 60 points into that's the maximum of the soft cap to get the most out of sorcery. Um, in previous games, you could leave it at about 40, maybe 50, and you would still do really high damage, but um, not so in Dark Souls 3. You really do need to go for the full 60 to see the most out of um, your character. Um, you could go 55, I would say between 55 and 60 is really where you need to be aiming for. Um, between 55 to 60 is where you will start to see bigger gains um, in scaling with your weapon. And the weapon that I'm using is the Court Sorcerer's Staff. So if you um, got your sorcery to, or your intelligence rather, to say about 50 and wanted to leave it there, then I would say use the Sorcerer's Staff, which is your starting weapon. Um, and if you go 55 to 60, then the, this will scale much better and give you more spell damage. Um, so go for the Court Sorcerer's Staff and max that out and get the uh, S rating with intelligence. Um, Okay, so I've not put any points in Faith or Luck. Um, I might put a few more points into Faith. I think I'm going to go to level 120. So um, certainly I think I'll put at least 10 points in that um, because then that will enable me to use some sorceries. Um, the rest of the points, uh, not sorceries, sorry, uh, pyromancies. Um, then the rest of the points will probably be put in Vigor and Endurance, or maybe just Endurance. It would be nice to have a little bit more Endurance. But um, yeah, I'm really only going to go up to level 120. Um, and that's really to do with the, the meta, which is um, the kind of the, the capped level that uh, the Dark Souls community desired is uh, where we're all going to kind of stop so that we can continue to co-op and PvP. Um, if you're not really that bothered about co-op or PvP, then certainly you can just keep leveling and kind of bring up your stats as much as you like. But if you'd like to uh, co-op and PvP at a high level, then I would certainly recommend stopping at 120 because that's likely to be where players are going to stop. Um, I'm not too sure if that's 100% agreed yet. I think there's some discussion that it might go up to around about 150, but you know it's not really been fully kind of fleshed out yet. So I would say stop for 120 for now. That's what I'm going to do, and um, just see how things go. And you may find that you're able to put some more stats in later on once uh, these things kind of settle down. You know the game is still pretty new. So, uh, my equipment, just to show you um, what I'm using to increase my spell damage. As I say, the Court Sorcerer's Staff there. Um, but also the Crown of Dusk. And the Crown of Dusk is an interesting piece of equipment. It's from Dark Souls 1. Um, it increases your spell damage, but it also increases the amount of damage you take from sorcery. So that's something to bear in mind. There's only one area in the game where that would be a problem, and it's very late game. Um, everywhere else you can wear this without really worrying too much about the um, additional magic damage you can take. Um, as you can see there, it does set your magic damage to minus 30. So, oh, ma magic damage absorption to minus 30. So, yeah, it's something to bear in mind. Um, the rest of my equipment here, the Firekeeper robe, Carla's gloves and Leonardo's trousers, it's all fashion souls really. There's no real reason for wearing these. I just wear them because they look good. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. <laughs> That's the only reason I wear them. <clears throat> I wanted my character to actually look like a sorcerer, you know? Um, there is some equipment in other games. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bad cough. There is some equipment in uh, some other games, like uh, in Dark Souls 2, where you actually do notice buffs to your uh, spellcasting speed or the additional damage, something like that. But um, not so in this game. There's really not much equipment that improves your sorcery. Um, but you know, if, if there is something out there that I've missed, you're welcome to correct me on that. But as far as I'm aware, you know, it doesn't really matter what you wear here. Um, I would say if you're looking for a bit more um, protection, um, physical block, I would go with the dancer's armor, which you can get late game um, after defeating a certain boss. Um, or you can get the drang armor, which um, is achievable a little bit earlier in the game and gives you that little bit extra protection as well. Um, oh. And this is really the important part, the rings. So the magic clutch ring there does improve your magic damage, but it also compromises your physical absorption. So you will take more physical damage with this ring, but you will deal more magic damage. And it's quite a significant boost that you get from the ring. So again, I would say that's worth it. Since as a sorcerer, your idea is to be rolling away from attacks and also to be keeping your distance. So hopefully not taking too many hits. Um, 
so I would certainly say that that's worth using. The Sage Ring there, shortened spell casting time. <clears throat> that's an essential ring, you absolutely must have that as a sorcerer. Spell casting in this game is very slow and there's very few items to improve it, so you definitely need that. Uh, the dra uh, Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring and the Young Dragon Ring um, both boost sorcery, greatly boost sorcery and just boost sorcery there, but both of them will give a significant increase to your damage. And this is, um, uh, I think, what you get at the very beginning of the game. You should have this straight away, and this is what you'll get kind of mid to late game. Um, so they go three damage boosting rings and one for speed. So hopefully that's been uh, helpful to show you kind of where my stats are at and what equipment I'm using to to get the damage I'm getting and um, <clears throat> hopefully that the, that will help you with your sorcerer and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.